I'm going to be showing you guys the best Nintendo Switch settings for Season 3, Chapter 3. So you guys can go crazy with all the new changes to the game. However, before I show you guys the best settings for this season, make sure if you're going to buy the Battle Pass or any other skin throughout the season, to use code CODIUM. And now that you've put in code CODIUM, let's go right on to the settings. We could start on the video settings, however, I want to go into account and privacy and make sure that you guys have Cam Receives Gifters on. The reason you need to be having Cam Receives Gifters on is because every single like on this video will be an extra 5 V-Bucks added to tournaments and giveaways that I want to be hosting in the future. Imagine if this video got a thousand likes, there'll be 5,000 V-Bucks I'd have to be giving away in tournaments and giveaways to you guys. So make sure to smash the like button and subscribe whilst you're down there. And now that you've got that on, let's get right on with the settings. So guys, the first thing I've changed in the settings is having brightness at 130%. Having it more than 100% for me is just useful, and obviously I have it on Trisonope because it makes it even more vibrant. This is brightness at 130 with Trisonope off, and this is it with Trisonope on. You can see the difference like it's nice and day. And obviously the strength of the colorblind mode for me is at 8. So guys, this is a very important one. Underneath graphics quality, make sure to turn both auto download high resolution textures and high resolution texture reminders as off. Because if we read this information on the right, you can see that if it's on Fortnite, it will automatically download high resolution textures. And obviously this is going to make the game so much more laggy for Nintendo Switch players. So if I were you, I'd have both of these as off. A tip that I've been saying for ages is to actually have show FPS as off. Another Switch player called Dodder told me that having show FPS off actually helps so much because it means that the Switch doesn't actually have to count how many frames you have so it can just flow and just run more smoothly. And also a no-brainer is to have power saving mode as off. If you guys are playing with power saving mode on, seriously turn it off, you'll see the difference instantly. Now onto the game section, make sure that your matchmaking region is on the region that you're playing on and that your language is on your language, not just the system default. Because my binds, I have toggle sprinters off and auto open doors is on. In case you guys didn't know, I don't actually have a sprint bind because I edit with X and pull out my pickaxe with L3. And for my mantle activation, I have it as a whole jump. I still feel like mantling has to be one of the best inventions Fortnite have added. Moving on to the combat section, make sure you have hold to swap pickup as on. The reason hold to swap pickup is so good is because if you have only one gun in your loadout and you want to switch it out with another one, that new gun will not go into the empty slot, it will go right into your hands. It's a small detail, but it really does change the game. I do have toggle targeting as off and mock danger when targeting as on. And after many seasons of having auto pickup weapons as on, I finally decided to turn off auto pickup weapons. It just gets rid of the cluster in your inventory. To make sure that the inventory is always sweet, make sure to have preferred item slots as on. And this is how I have it sorted. I have in slot 1 a shotgun, slot 2 an SMG, slot 3 a consumable item, slot 4 a sniper slash bow, and slot 5 an assault rifle. In my opinion, this is the best preferred item slots that you can possibly have. However, you know with the new season, if you want to change it around, make sure to. And because of the preferred item slots, you don't actually need to have auto sort consumables to the right. Okay, this setting is very, very important for later, but for building, make sure you have reset building choice, disable pre-edit option, and turbo building all is on. When you have double edit binds, you want to be having disabled pre-edit option as on, as well as reset building choice. It makes free building a lot easier. Now for extra game options, invert view, off, and airborne controls as well have this off. So guys, we can now move on to the HUD options, and first thing first, make sure that your HUD scale is in between anything from 60 to 80%. This is where you can get less delay whilst also being able to see your guns. And now make sure everything that I have got on is on and everything I have got off is off. Even though I don't think gyro is really going to work throughout this season, I'm still going to give you guys the best gyro settings possible. So important ones is that I've got 0.92 sensitivity. I've actually got some quite complicated gyro settings. So if you do want to copy these down, make sure that you get the exact numbers because you know you don't want it to be messed up. This is like crucial when you're playing motion. Make sure that for handheld gyro space and controller gyro space, that it is on player and player, not on local. Because if it's on local, you have to be facing the Nintendo Switch just like you had to face the Wii. And here are just the rest of the settings for you guys to copy down. I've shown you guys my motion settings, but I'm now going to be showing you my actual controller settings. And these are the ones you need to copy down because once you get used to them, these are actually unstoppable. Well, firstly, controller also run as on and build immediately or build a pro as on as well. And have edit hold time at 0.250 and I'll come back to this later. But this one is very, very important. Have reset camera axis as your and reset camera time is 0.1. And also make sure to turn off vibration. For my build mode sensitivity multiplier, I have it at 1.9, and my edit mode sensitivity multiplier, I have it at 1.7. You can change this up or down if it's too slow or too fast for you. However, the important thing with these settings is that you have to have a 0.2 different with the edit mode sensitivity and the build mode sensitivity. And obviously, turn on use advanced options. I have both look horizontal and look vertical speed at 38%. I don't know what it is, but now I'm used to 38%. Seriously, I can't change to anything else. This setting is crisp. And literally, don't have anything else on. Other than for ADS, horizontal and vertical look, make sure that both of these ones are on 8%. But other than that, literally nothing. 
do have your look input curve on Exponential. I know, I know, everyone, if you guys are linear players, just give Exponential a try for a week. Seriously, it's it's actually game changing. The little tip, I have 99% aim assist on because when I, when I have 100% aim assist on, I feel like sometimes it just turns off. But with 99% aim assist, I feel like it's always on and always tracking my opponent. Cheeky bit of aimbot, lads. Oh my god. Make sure for control of dead zone that your left stick is at 5% and your right stick is at 10%. As long as your left stick is less than your right stick is alright, but for me, this minimal dead zone really helps out. Very, very important for the new season, vehicles. Accelerate with thumbsticks, on. And if you're in creative tank settings, make sure these are also on. Volume doesn't really matter except have visual sound effects is on and voice chat is on. So I said I was going to come back to edit hold time and here we are. So the reason you need to have edit hold time on 0.250 is so that you can have working double edit binds, which literally every single pro or really good Switch player has. So you want to go into your combo controls and you need to make sure that you have edit on one bind, switch mode on another bind, and switch mode slash edit on another bind. This will basically give you double edit binds because, and having your edit hold time on 0.250 basically activates this. You can also have it on 0.1, but for me, 0.250 just works better. I'm actually going to run through my combat controls. Nothing really special here. Obviously, you know I edit with X because I play claw. Copy these settings out and obviously don't, if you want to switch to Claw, do, because switching to Claw was the best decision I've ever made in gaming. However, if you guys don't want to switch to Claw and just keep your edit binds how it is, but then just copy the rest of this. The finishing touch for double edit binds is having selected on ZR, reset on ZL, and confirm on just L. And other than that, just copy the rest of these down. The dead zone area that I'm on right now is where you can get your dead zone to zero. If you go onto handout and press reset, and press reset on both of them, then they will both go to zero, which... Is crazy. Unless your control is old and has drift. So as we're now on the final page, which is account and privacy, I'm going to be running through some settings that you need to be having on and off. Firstly, I actually have player surveys on because I'm interested to see what Fortnite may be considering to remove and add to the game. I have mature language filters on, friendly invite permission at anyone, so that basically any person who wants to add my epic, which is YouTube Codium, can. Obviously, if you want to add me, make sure to. Texture isn't really that important, but if someone wants to join and they message me through it, I can always see it. I have show social notifications as off, so it never ruins one of my clips. And obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure that you guys have cam receives gifts as on, because I'm going to be trying to gift as many of you guys as possible. I also have auto import friends as off. So now that we've got the best Fortnite settings, go into your system settings on the Nintendo Switch and make sure your TV resolution is at 1080p and your RGB range is at full range. This is so that the game can look the best it possibly can. Also go on sleep mode and make sure the auto sleep is on never for both of these. So that your Nintendo Switch will never fall asleep when you're playing in game. I also forgot to mention at the very beginning, but make sure you have confirm edit and releases off. If you learn to play with it off, trust me, you get so, so much better. I hope you guys have now got some crazy settings for the Nintendo Switch and I hope you guys can get used to them. Obviously, if you want to 1v1 me, make sure to join the Discord, which is down in the description. And check out this video right here, which is me 1v1 and the best laptop player. I've also got some crazy videos to come in the future, so you don't want to miss them out, so make sure to turn on some notifications. To not miss a new video or a stream that I'll be doing where I'll be 1v1ing some of you guys. Peace and enjoy the new season, guys.